the slinky spring that we drop, and we say, what happens to the bottommost link? Oops. The reason that you have the little man is, apart from everybody says R, um, is that you can see the bottommost link. And the question is, what happens to the little man? What happens to the bottom link at the instant that I drop the spring? Now, for those who haven't seen this before, you probably will divide into three. Some people say it goes up. I, I, I don't know how. I, that is the wrong answer. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got to be careful. You don't, you've got to say, that's an interesting answer. How, how do you work that out? But anyway, some people do. Um, some people think it'll just drop down, and some people think it'll stay in the same place. And in fact, because we're doing this very quickly into teachers, I tell you, it does stay in the same place for an instant. It's an example of balanced forces. Because the force up on the man is the spring tension. The force down on the man is the uh, gravity. Um, and at the instant you leave go, they are still there. Gravity's still pulling down. The spring is pulling up. The spring has got to contract before there is a downward resultant force. <laughs> so that's one thing you can look at. The next thing you can look at in this is that actually, once the thing is in free fall, the weight of the, the spring within itself is effectively weightless. So the only sort of force within the spring is the, is the tension. So the spring closes and ends up falling as a tight spring. So the final, if you want to do this with the six forms, you can actually ask them, at what point will the spring tighten so it's unextended? That's quite a hard calculation. Um, but anyway, just get this still and watch. I'll give you three, two, one, so you can focus on the little man. Three, two, one. Stay still, and then he goes down. And that's, again, any level. You know, it's a good balanced force thing. It's, it's, it's good to sort of illustrate balanced forces and so on.